you guys i have makeup on the world is ending just kidding i have it on because i just filmed it for this video so i'm about to jump into a makeup tutorial what i do i don't want to say everyday makeup because i don't wear makeup every day but when i do wear makeup this is what i do i'd say most of the products are pretty affordable and the ones that are like more high-end when you buy it like sephora are definitely worth the price and have lasted me so long um, I don't wear makeup every day. I don't feel I need to wear makeup every day. I'm just a college student. Like, I'm not trying to impress anyone. But I think this is super helpful and a lot of girls do wear makeup every day and um, are looking for suggestions. I definitely would wear this to the gym. Um, like, if I had to go to the gym after I put makeup on, like, if I had something to do and had to wear makeup and then had to go to the gym, I would definitely wear this. It's pretty lightweight, nothing serious, and you can definitely take out some of the extra steps. Like, if you're gonna wear this to the gym, you don't need to contour your face. Um, also, sorry, I'm looking at myself in my mirror right here. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy and see you in the next clip. So I have pulled my hair back, dampened my beauty blender, and now I take my Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm. And I know this probably is, you're probably like, why do you use Men's Post Shave Balm? But this stuff really helps my makeup stick to my face. It gives a little bit of a tacky feel. It's never broken me out. I get the sensitive kind though, just to be safe. And I put a little bit, just about that much, and it goes on clear on your skin. It does have a bit of a scent, but like I said, I've never had an issue with it breaking me out. And then I just rub the excess down my neck. And then next I take the Benefit Pore Professionals, and I love this stuff. I do have bigger pores, like right here on my face, and then right here under my eyes, around my nose. So I don't apply this to my whole face, just those areas, and this is a new tube, so I gotta take it. Okay, so I just take a pea-sized amount, and then dab it on the places that I want it to be. And then rub it in. This has a little bit more of a silicone feel than the post shave balm does but I think this just does a really good job of evening out my skin it does have a little bit of a tint for foundation what I usually use if I'm going out which today I am not I use a little bit more full coverage this tart shape tape stuff which I love I, I am in the shade medium tan honey but like I said I only really use this if I'm going out or I have somewhere special to be or I know I need my makeup to look like flawless and last a long time Whereas on days like today where I'm not really doing much, I use this and I love this stuff. It is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow and I am in the shade 204. So what I do is I just put a little bit on the back of my hand, probably about that much. Then I take my ring finger, dab it all around my face. Also this stuff is amazing. It's like... 10 bucks at Target or Ulta, 10 or $11, don't quote me on that. And then I always put a little bit on my neck just to make sure I can blend my face to my neck. And then I go into the beauty blender. I'm gonna move my mirror right here so it looks like I'm doing this more. In. So my fall break starts today. My mom and my sister are doing a campus tour right now for her. And then we are checking out my new apartment and going back to Cleveland. And I'm super excited to go home and see my mom. Well, I'm obviously gonna see my mom today, but my family and my cute dog, I'm so excited. And then over the weekend, I am going to visit Tristan at school because his 21st birthday is next Wednesday and I'm super excited for him. I'm super jealous. I don't drink often, but just not being 21 when all of your friends are 21 kind of sucks and I'm not gonna be 21 until next June. So that sucks, but whatever. I am by no means a makeup artist. I used to watch YouTube videos a lot before I got into fitness. I used to watch a lot of makeup YouTube videos. So that's where I learned a lot of stuff. I still watch a few people and that's where I get like product recommendations. But to be honest, I don't wear makeup often, so like I'm not super concerned with like what's the new hottest thing. I just use what works for me, 
and I'm sharing this so hopefully it can help you guys and I used to be I used to have really oily skin and I would be like matte everything like I would never use moisturizer because I thought it would make me oily I would always use matte foundation matte setting powders matte everything since I started using Tula it's a lot more of a hydrating formula and I've honestly noticed my skin is less oily now and I think it was because my skin was so dehydrated before it would produce oil in excess to make up for it so now that my skin is hydrated I find that I'm less oily and so I use a lot of like hydrating or like glowy products on my skin because I think they look better and they look more natural matte just makes you kind of look like you are a vampire and that you have no blood flow to your face like so like I said this is a glowy foundation I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape concealer under my eyes if you guys have not tried this yet do not sleep on this product it is amazing okay so here is the applicator it's quite large for a concealer but I just put some under my eyes this video is gonna be so shaky I'm sorry I need to be more careful what I have my camera setting up on right now is not stable so I put some under my eyes I put some in the crease of my nose because I tend to get really red here and then anywhere I'm breaking out which is between my eyebrows right now and then whatever's left I just put on my chin and I take the pointed end of my beauty blender and so I've been getting a lot of questions lately about how often I train and I thought this would be a good time to address it because I have a little bit of time to sit down and chat and right now I'm training usually six days a week, sometimes five if I'm a little bit more busy or don't have access to a gym. Um, and I know this can be a lot for some people. I don't think you need to train six days to be successful and to see progress. But the way my schedule is allowing, I choose to do it because I have the time. And also I've been so stressed out about school that this actually really helps. Like training working out and going to the gym is just my little getaway for the day and i enjoy being able to spend a little time on myself and exercise makes me feel so good so why would i not do it so next i'm going to be using this rimmel stay matte um powder just to loosely set my face i take this big brush i this is from Sonia Kashuk, I'm sorry, I'm not, like I said, I'm not a beauty guru, I don't know where all this stuff is from, but I will do my best to tell you and link everything below. But what I usually do is I just swirl this, tap it off, and then I press on my face. I don't, I saw this in a YouTube video once and I don't know how accurate it is, but Tati said you shouldn't go like this because you can pull product around your face. So I just lightly tap everything down my neck to make sure it's blending. So after that, I have two different setting powders I use. So on days when I'm not going out or I won't be having flash photography taken, I use this because it does have a little bit of a flashback if you use it in pictures like that, but it is the Cody Airspawn. And then on days that I'm going out and will have pictures taken of me or like whatever, I just want to look a little bit better, I use this Laura Mercier setting powder. This is like the travel size my sister got for me for Christmas. And to be honest, I don't have a ton left, which is why I'm not going to use it today. But this stuff is awesome. No flashback, translucent. Love it. Does the job. I think this is really great and it's way more affordable. So what I do is I just shake it so I get some in the lid. And then you have to be very careful when you open this because you can get it everywhere. So you've got a little bit in the lid. And then I take my beauty blender. I take the pointed end, get some product on there, and then I tap it off. And then I just... I used to fully set my under eyes and I would let it sit but now I just kind of press it into the skin until it's not super noticeable well you don't want it to be noticeable at all see I mean you can't really tell the difference but you can see that there's no product like I used to let it sit and then I would dust it off but now I just press it into my skin and I find that works better for me And then whatever excess I have, I always set around my nose because like I said, I get kind of red right there. And I tend to like blow my nose or rub my nose a lot, especially in the winter. And so that's like the first part of my makeup to come off just from me rubbing it. Okay, so next I go in and I start to bronze my face and I use the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. I love this stuff. And I take this brush 
to be honest i don't know where i got it from i'm gonna guess sephora but it's just like this dense fluffy brush not too big and i just dab it in there tap off the excess i do this and i put it And then I blend up my face. There's a guy on the roof of my apartment complex right now, like a maintenance guy working. I was like, what? So I usually just try to put it on my cheekbone and a little bit above. And then I draw it up my face. And then I always do the underneath of my jawline. Just like I said before, to make sure I'm blending, get any excess. This lighting is really washing me out, but in real life, my face is a little bit darker than like my neck right here. So I'm just making sure to blend that in evenly. Do it on the other side. I, general rule of thumb, you can kind of see where my cheekbone is. So I try to not go below that line. I used to think that you were supposed to, to make your cheeks look suck, more sucked in. But honestly, it looks better if you're bringing it up on your cheekbones a little bit. In my opinion, not a beauty guru, but... So that's what it looks like when we're done. So I do have a little bit of tan right there. I'm gonna get a little bit more, bring it down my neck. And then sometimes I just, whatever I have left, I just go the side of my nose. I do contour the sides of my nose. Like I said, not a professional, so it's probably not the best job you've ever seen. Anyways, getting back to my discussion about the gym. So I do train six days a week right now. One, because I have the luxury of doing so. And two, because it's a huge stress reliever for me. So if I have the opportunity to go to the gym and I'm stressed out, or even if I'm not, it just makes me feel better. In general, it helps my mental health a ton. So yeah, that is where I stand with my training right now. Um, but obviously as I get more busy or if I get more busy, I definitely will cut back on my training. Or if I see injuries start to occur or overuse just in general, I will cut back. I don't think it's necessary to go six days a week. So next I'm contouring. I've had this palette forever. I'm sorry it's so dirty. It's the contour kit from Anastasia in light to medium. These are the colors. I literally just dab my brush in these a couple times and tap off the excess. I always start back here and blend into my hairline because I think it takes the excess product off instead of like swiping it up your face and then you just have a really harsh black or brown line. And I use a super light hand with this and I try to make a shape like this up around my cheekbone instead of like straight down. Um, these are all things that I've seen from other YouTubers. So I take no credit for these, good or bad. And then I take whatever extra I have and just put it on my temples. And then really whatever extra I have, sometimes I dab it a little bit more. I will put down the sides of my nose, under my nose, and then I sometimes will blend it down through my eyebrows just because I think it gives a little bit more of a line. I'm not sitting here with like a contour stick going down my nose. I don't care that much. I have a big nose. What are you going to do about it? Next, sometimes I do my eyebrows, sometimes I don't. Today I am only because they're not, like I haven't cut them in a while and they're just kind of crazy and another reason i don't feel like i need um to fill in my eyebrows like they're pretty dark as is but sometimes when i put foundation on them they get a little washed out so you guys are probably gonna laugh at me like i said i don't really like do my eyebrows ever just sometimes when i feel like i need it i use this stuff called brow this way it's from rimmel like i said i'm sorry that my makeup is also dirty i don't use it that often so i don't feel the need to like keep it super clean or like be careful with it but there's a powder side and a pomade side and i just take this little brush that comes with it like i said but oh this is wiggling i just fill in from the bottom and then back here my arch is pretty bare and then i just kind of this is so much harder to do in a mirror that's far away than a mirror that's close up so yeah i mean my eyebrow definitely looks darker and it looks kind of harsh so then I take my brush and I just brush through to get the extra product out and then I brush my eyebrows up because I just like a fuller look of my eyebrows 
So yeah, that's what that does to my eyebrow. Wow, it looks really harsh in comparison to the other, but I promise once I fill it in and put some mascara on, I'll look normal. Okay, so yeah, see that looks a little bit more normal. Gonna brush through the product, or brush the product through. And yeah, my eyebrows look super dark and harsh now, but you know what, they're my favorite feature on my face. So between doing my eyebrows, setting my face, all of that, I always put some of this stuff on and judge me, but I'm the only one who uses this, so I just rub my lips on it, but I got this at Sephora, and you guys, chapstick is fake news. It literally dries my lips out every time I use it, and I'm convinced that they put drying stuff in their chapstick, so you keep buying more. So I buy this stuff, this lasts you this lasts you such a long time it is the they have the regular but i like the strawberry flavored one better because it tastes slash smells better but it is the strawberry lip balm from smith's and they do have a regular rosebud salve that i love and used to use all the time but like i said this one just tastes better you can get these at sephora i think maybe urban outfitters but i love this stuff and it's probably dirty on it's a little bit dirty after i've got all my powders on my face my foundation my all that stuff all i really have left to do for like my everyday look and honestly this is what i do when i go out to um if i'm gonna put on makeup it's usually always the same i used to do like full eyeshadow and thick eyeliner and line my lips and like it's just too much i like to have clean face nice face makeup a little bit of mascara and good highlight we're set so i use a setting spray after I've done all my powder stuff and before I put on my highlight and mascara because I do use a liquid highlight I want my face to be not so powdery on the top if I spray my face after I put mascara on I always get black dots up here and down here so I'm not having it we do it beforehand I got this from Marshalls it is the hydrate by Valjean labs I think this was like four or five dollars and it has hyaluronic acid and vitamin B and I do know that hyaluronic acid is supposed to help your face feel and look more hydrated and plump so I'm into this sets my makeup fine I, it says can be used after cleansing before moisturizing or throughout the day over makeup honestly i just use this as a basic setting spray no big deal so i just close my eyes and this has like a really refreshing smell and then i saw this from someone on youtube surprise surprise but i take the end of my beauty blender that's like the most clean and i just press my skin because you know sometimes when you put on setting spray and then all the little hairs on your face stick up this prevents that from happening but i always go like around my contour and then i set that last only because i don't want to drag like dark product all over my face so after that i just got this and i'm super excited what are these called cover effects custom enhancer drops I'm really excited. This is the color Sunlight, and I've used these a few times, and like, there's no way I'm ever gonna run out of this product. So it looks like this. And I literally put, like that's all you need. That might honestly be too much. And I think that you're, you can like blend this in with your um, foundation, but it's pretty intense as you can see obviously i'm not gonna leave it like this i'm gonna blend it in more but it's a pretty intense shine so i don't think i would like blend it in with my foundation because i don't want my whole face to be shining like this but i think that it is an awesome like ooh, ooh, ooh. wow yeah it's pretty intense so then i just go over with my beauty blender just to make sure it's like blended in and i don't have any like super harsh lines Okay, and then we're gonna do it on the other side. Like, I'm not kidding you guys. I'm not even squeezing this thing. I'm just letting excess product run off the, um, like what's on the outside of the dropper. I'm never gonna run out of this stuff. And I really like it. I think that this color suits me well into it. Um, so after I do my highlight, it's all good. The last thing I have to do is mascara. And before I do mascara, I curl my eyelashes. So I'm gonna do that real quick. my mascara and I use Lash Paradise.
from L'Oreal. This is a perfect dupe, literally packaging and everything for the Better Than Sex from Too Faced. I used to use that mascara and it's like $20 more expensive than this. So just buy this one. It's amazing, does the job. Like wait until you see my eyelashes from this. Okay. I'm moving this closer because I can't do mascara far away, I'm sorry. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but wow, my eyelashes look so good. I have tried to put on fake lashes probably a hundred times. I get so frustrated and end up like crying or throwing a fit every time I do because they're just so impossible to get on for me. Um. But yeah, so this is the finished look. I'm sorry that my face is a little broken out right now, but... Like, do we see these eyelashes? Wow. I've never wanted to put my face that up close to a camera before in my life, but we're doing it. Okay, so that is my makeup routine. I don't wanna say everyday makeup routine because I don't wear makeup every day, but when I do wear makeup, this is what I do, whether I'm going out, have something to do or whatever. So yeah, this is the look and I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry this wasn't more chatty. I just don't really have a ton to talk about, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next. I appreciate your support and I'll see you in the next one.